how to set up your Smonit Smart Lock on the app and what can you do with it. We're gonna take a look real quick. First of all, we wanna make sure that we get the right app. It's this Next Lock app. So you're gonna go ahead and download that. And once you download it, it's gonna make you create an account. Once you create an account, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna add your first lock. So what you wanna do is you just wanna come in and touch the screen on, your, on the actual lock to make sure it's awake. And once it's awake, it's gonna send out a signal to try to pair. All we have to do here is hit plus. It's just gonna remind you to touch anything on there to put it in uh, pairing mode. Hit next and then it's going to find the lock. Once the lock pops up, you'll just follow the instructions to give the lock a name. You can add it to a group. You can tell it whether it opens left or right. And then once you do that, we'll look at what we can do to control it. So we have a bunch of different options to control it. One of the things we can do is we can use our phone to directly unlock it if we tap to unlock the lock. You can control the users of the locks and you can add the locks to different groups. You can obviously change the access codes but what's really nice is that you can create different access codes and send them to different people and they can be temporary only available for a certain amount of time so some people you can have always have a code you'll always know who's accessing your lock and then if somebody needs to access it you can send them a temporary code and you don't need to worry about changing it again and I'll put a link in a pinned comment to where you can get this lock if you're interested